Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony, here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for what is the theme of this next season of your life. This card came out before I had a chance to really shuffle and pull all these cards. It just flew out of the deck, so I feel like it's something that everyone who clicked on this video has in common. We can all tell that the wheel of the year is turning and that there's a new energy coming in with that. It's a new season. So many of us are being prompted right now to develop our natural skills and talents and to learn new things. So maybe we're enrolling in like a new program or in school. Maybe we're being prompted to do some reading and some more self-education. Maybe you're at work, you're learning new skills or you're being um, promoted to a new position. Um, or you're wanting to go in a new direction and so you're starting to think about like researching and um, getting inspired for what you're going to do next. And um, learning from other people can come along with this. Um, new people might be coming in your life to help teach you things. And this could be spiritually, it could be emotionally, it could be mentally, physically, it could have to do with any facet of your life, honestly. But I do feel kind of an emphasis here on career and just like our, you know, life purpose, soul mission and all that. So, um... The wonderful thing about this is that when you actually follow these promptings and you actually take a step more in your authenticity and towards developing these gifts and talents that you have and you're naturally born with, um, this helps you generate m abundance and money um, doing what you love. And so you're a lot happier and you're more at peace. And because of that, you know, that's going to trickle on to all the people that you're around and also serve as an example to them. Um, that they can do it too. And in my own life, I'm constantly being surrounded by more and more people because um, I work in like the entertainment industry out in LA. And um, I'm just surrounded by people who have done that. They've decided to be authentic. They've decided to take a step towards doing what they love and take a leap of faith. And it worked out well for these people. And um, that's kind of, to me, what happiness is. It's when you're living in your authenticity and it doesn't always look perfect, you know? Your path in your life isn't always gonna be perfect. Hey, sometimes you might have to start part-time and keep a, a like a nine to five job or just a part-time job or something, maybe doing something that's not as an alignment for you to get to this place. But um, maybe on the way there, there's a lot of contrast and conflict and things you're gonna have to learn to help yourself expand and grow, but ultimately, what I'm seeing here is this is a great season in our life to move forward in this place. And if you're getting this gut feeling to like follow your dreams or to try something new or to go back and redo something you used to do long ago or um, reconnect with certain people or reach out and try to do, um, you know, get connected in a community to help you grow these skills. I mean, these are all things that are being supported right now. So let's go ahead and get into the reading for what is the theme of this next season in your life. This seems to be a general theme, but what is your personal theme? One, two, three, and four. You can go down to the description below and the, there will be timestamps and you can fast forward if you want to to your card. Or hey, maybe if you're being prompted to watch this whole thing, maybe the whole thing has a message for you. Let's start, you guys. The first deck of cards. As always, I'm using my Doreen Virtue Goddess Guidance deck and um, my Wildwood Tarot deck. This is really interesting. <laughs> These all came out reversed and at first it kind of threw me and I was wanting to flip them back over, but I don't know, it's like an intuition told me not to. I feel like, man, so we're getting this new path card, but it's reversed. And so I feel like you really want a new beginning in your life. You just want to start fresh. You want to start over. There might be some facets of your life that you're thankful for and that you're cool with, but maybe there's just something else out there for you. And so it's like your soul is calling forth for this. And this has been something that's been happening inside of you for a while. And maybe watching this is confirmation of that, you know? Um, and so they're saying this next season of your life is all to help prepare you to take a leap of faith. And when I refer to a season here, I'm going to say, you know, three to four months. Um, it could be a little bit longer, but that's the time frame I'm kind of feeling for this whole reading. So next couple months, you know, you're going to be preparing to start on this new path and to take a leap of faith. 
um, towards this new path. So, I guess <laughs> probably the most frustrating part of this season for you is going to be the fact that you're going to need a lot of space and you're going to need a lot of time alone in order to cultivate this energy and cultivate this strength for you to be able to take this big leap of faith. So, um, it's going to be a lot of time alone in solitude and um, there's going to be a lot coming up in you. A lot of fears, a lot of worries, a lot of anxiety. Like, I know this journey, you know, I know these cycles well enough. I'm at this point where I'm like, I understand these cards. I get exactly where you're going to be the next couple of months. And um, one of the best things you can do is meditate, like help yourself find your truth and find your focus. Um, there's some really great meditations here on YouTube. Check out Jason Stevenson. So Jason Stevenson here on YouTube. He has some really great meditations where you can visualize your future and um, get interactive with your imagination and kind of help, um, you know, manifest and visualize things you want. It can help. Um, for me, it helped actually bring up a lot of desires, a lot of uh, things I didn't know I even wanted. It helped me um, take steps towards achieving these goals. And I don't know, it's brought a lot in, of goodness into my life. So try it out. Um, if meditation really isn't your thing, um, maybe try just getting some space out in nature and just taking some deep breaths and, um, you know, you can even literally light candles and pray or, you know, take a bath or, um, I'm just seeing like self soothing is going to be so important for you the next couple months, um, because you're trying to figure out how you're going to make this happen. Um, and I have this feeling for you that the answer is going to come, um, but you're being guided onto a more spiritual path. And I don't mean spiritual as in you're going to be doing like what I'm doing with like tarot cards or Reiki healing or anything like that. Although it very well could be that those of you guys who pick this one are starting to think more about like being a healer or being some type of therapist or whatever. Um, but basically you have some type of like intuitive knowledge you have these natural gifts. It could be related to writing or speaking or singing because I do see the throat chakra. But the th throat chakra is related to creativity also and just expressing yourself. So there's so many ways you can do that. I mean, you can sculpt, you can dance, um, anything um, really. So some type of art or something perhaps you're being called to do. Um, Maybe you're supposed to start some type of YouTube channel, speak your truth, or maybe you're going to start, um, you know, like a book series or something, but there's something that wants to come out of you. There's like this new birth I'm really feeling. So, um, this time in this space is going to help you and solitude really is, you know, cutting yourself off, you know, temporarily from a lot of distractions and a lot of distractions we have in our society these days you guys is like the fear-based media um youtube is one of them <laughs> you know social media um i don't know just getting caught in comparisons and getting caught in competition uh, competition um you know getting caught in worry and fear these are all just like very 3d ego based things and it's part of us it's part of our human experience we get caught in this sometimes but what you need to do is you need to create this like safe and sacred space in order for these desires and dreams and this new path to manifest and so you're going to need to feed you know these new ideas and these dreams and hopes with love and with peace and so, um, you know, get excited for what's next. Um, there's going to be fears that have come up. I mean, you're taking a whole new journey. This is um, the same as the Fool in the traditional tarot. So if you want to do some more research on this card and on this reading, um, check out the Fool in um, traditional tarot. There's a lot of blogs and articles out there about this card. But um, it's basically just about starting a whole new journey and um you know being unafraid to leap into the unknown so whatever is cultivating here over the next couple of months um you're going to come out of this really strong you're going to come out of this really brave you're going to be ready to go 
you're going to be ready to do something crazy. You know what I mean? Maybe you're going to move somewhere. Maybe you're going to, like I said, start a program. Because I'm feeling like a lot of people are getting ready to, I don't know, in, invest in some type of education. Um, yeah, a whole new path for you. So this is a sign. <laughs> You have to continue on, and um, if things seem a little slow the next couple of months, remember that the energy is going to keep trying to pull you back here to this quiet time and to this sacred space. And um, for some people, this comes naturally, you know, being able to rest and being open to receive and like listening. And um, I just getting this message like, your prayers have been heard, your manifestations have been um heard and it's time to open to receive this awesome new path so um stay focused here and don't be so hard on yourself if you're feeling this need to rest and retreat or if life is a bit overwhelming the next couple months or people are just overwhelming dial it back to you focus on you you've got this um truth that wants to come out you've got something inside of you that wants to be expressed it's like this new birth so protect it you know nurture it and continue forward this is super exciting i hope that this is the answer you're looking for all right so what is this next theme in your life what is this season all about he chose the second pile awesome so money is coming up here or like worry about like your lot in life uh, worry about the future it says you are supplied for today and all your tomorrows i always love pulling this card when i'm freaking out because hey sometimes it gets to me i'm honestly so blessed um i could probably go on about it but i'm very blessed in my life um to be in the position i have to have the things i do to have the opportunities i do and um but i sometimes get lost and sucked into worrying about things because it's really easy um i think fear and worry and stuff like that it's very contagious and if you just step outside and go to work or you turn on the news um you're hearing people who are very worried it's just like this contagious energy and so we forget sometimes that like we have control over how we perceive our reality and that our perception really is everything. And that's why it helps to, you know, try when you can to stop and be grateful. You know, you don't want to be doing it unauthentically. Like if you just got bad news or something, you're not going to look around in that very moment and be like, well, I'm thankful, <laughs> um, you know, but try to cultivate a little bit more of a gratitude consciousness here and it will help kind of open up your heart a little bit more to seeing the abundance that truly surrounds you. A lot of times in order to move forward in life and to manifest more abundance, you have to focus on the abundance that's around you now. If you're shouting out to the universe that you don't have anything and you're upset and you know you keep beating that drum and keep setting that out there, that's what's gonna come back, unfortunately. And you can get sucked into downward spirals where you just continue to manifest lack because that's what your focus is on. Whatever you focus on grows. And um, realizing this, you guys, has really revolutionized my life. I've only learned it recently, like a couple of years ago. I'm getting better at it, but I still get sucked into these mindsets. And so I feel like if you clicked on this and you pick this one, you've been sucked into this mindset. You might not be realizing that the problem comes back to you. And that's so frustrating and so annoying. Um, you know, don't beat yourself up over it. Don't, you know, it's gonna, it's easily fixed. It just takes a little bit of training with your mind and like, um, you have to kind of pull yourself up out of these emotional waters. And um, one of the things that really helped me because you can't go from like, being in this mindset to like positive and grateful like out of nowhere so something that helps us to go out into nature and attune yourself to nature when i went out into nature i realized that you know we're one with nature we're part of nature we're not immune to these cycles that are happening with the animals and the plants and everything you know we all have these cycles of death and re rebirth and even quite literally in our life so um i also realized out in nature that 
you know, we don't have to compete for our share. You know, in nature, the plants aren't in competition. There's room for everything to grow. And also, you know, there's some, t some seasons where there's some flowers and some plants that are blooming, and there's some seasons where some plants aren't doing as well and they're, they're dying or they're shedding um, to make room for new growth. So maybe it'll help you um, if you can realize where you're at in the cycle. Maybe you're at a place in the cycle where you're shedding and where you're um, letting go of these things to make way for the new growth. And, um, you know, it's pretty simple what I talk about in this channel. It's just like how we're related to nature and these cycles. And um, once you can understand the cycle, it's not like you can 100% predict your future or anything. Um, but you can understand what is coming next. You know, it's always darkest before the dawn, they say, you know. Um, and, you know, winter comes before spring. So think about this. Think about how this applies to your life because I do see that this winter is ending around you. You finally have your footing and you're in this position now where things are looking up. You, you have a, a more of a supply now of abundance. Um, it doesn't always have to mean money. Abundance can have to do this infinite supply and abundance can have to do with like time. Maybe you're worried you don't have enough time or support, um, health, whatever, but you have more abundance now in this area and you're able to get your footing so no longer are you worried about just um merely surviving you're kind of getting out of that survival mode and you're able to kind of move up in your life and realize that um you can look ahead now to the future you can start making plans and it's safe so um to put it shortly this next season for you is about moving out of this funk you've been in and it's about moving um towards your future so it's all about getting inspired and it's about looking forward to what's next and starting to plan. So I'm, mood boarding is coming up for you. It might be time to make a mood board. Um, you know, give the universe some visuals to help manifest what it is you are looking for, you know? Um, write out some, um, here, I'll show you real quick. I'm actually right next to my altar. Um, this was like one of the first things I ever drafted for like my business plan for my fashion business I started and because um, I do sustainable styling and that's what I'm um, all the personal reads I do on this channel I'm raising um, money to help support this and help um, further e eco fashion and ethical fashion but you can even just paint or write words you know, that inspire you to help you kind of mood board. I didn't even know what I wanted when I wrote that. I just knew I was into that and like it was just a starting board for me. So maybe that'll help you if you're like a word person. But if you're more visual, get on Pinterest or something or paint or draw like your ideas. But this is a good time to really start drafting um, some inspiration to move forward. So I hope that this helped you out. I just want you to know it's over. It is over and when, that's exactly what this card means. And I've pulled it many times for um, clients and people. So maybe you're worried that it's not over, but I promise you it is. <laughs> so I hope that that helps you. Now, if you chose the third stack, what is this next season? in your life about well it's really nice to see the joy card right next to the true love card and the past life card what is going on so i i'm really seeing like this next season in your life is really dominated by love really dominated by your love life so your love life is on focus um which is interesting because a lot of these have had like a career theme so far, but this stack is totally different. So if you chose this one, if you chose number three, um, there's a lot that's been coming up from your past. I feel like this Mercury retrograde cycle that we just had in August and all of those eclipses and everything, we're really starting to bring up a lot for you. You're starting to realize a lot of the cycles and the habits and the patterns that are repeating in your life. And um, I feel like you've done a lot of healing in like, you're starting to think about making new choices and moving forward and um it's saying you're just getting started so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up it's like maybe you came across some information 
or something in your healing that's um, been making you really inspired and passionate to want to move forward. And um, sometimes it can make you a bit anxious, I'm feeling, because when I get these cards together, that's usually what it means. So this is a sign that, you know, to remember everything is happening in divine timing and, you know, just have patience with the, this process. You're just getting started. Um, this is also making me think about a new love, like there's a new love entering your life. It says, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So either consciously or unconsciously, you've been sending out this message to the universe that this is something that's important to you. This is an area of your life that you want to see settled and you want to have fulfillment in. Um, maybe you feel like this is going to help you move forward on your path better. Like it's going to bring a lot of um, new growth and positive energy into your life and joy. And, you know, when you're in that vibe... I mean, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> That's one of the amazing things about new love. It's like, it's not just the person, it's not just the connection, it's the energy and like everything that comes with it. There's a lot of magic and miracles um, that come with love, you know? Love is the answer, right? <laughs> so um, this next season is about love, you know? Um, maybe it's about letting go of, um, of love or someone and finding that joy and starting over um, so if you're feeling that gut feeling when I just said that maybe that's you um, I do see that for some people this could mean a breakup or a separation um, I just report it like I see it but I think I'm feeling more positive energy here like if that is that happens to you then it's definitely you know for your greater good it's definitely gonna be a good thing um, I also think that, um, honestly though, if you pick this one, you know, there's, there's someone coming into your life. Um, and I see this past life here. So it could be someone from your past. It could be someone you have a history with. It could be someone, um, that you've shared past lives with. So perhaps it's like a really important, like soulmate, um, or twin flame or someone like that that's going to teach you some really important lessons and help you grow. And help bring all this peace and love into your life so that's exciting that's what this next season is all about for you so enjoy it that is the theme so awesome to see this joy card you know i feel like i want to read this one to you there we go i'm opening i'm using this book this deck is awesome i recommend it to anyone who just wants to get started in tarot or who just wants to pull a card for daily guidance um that's how it started for me you never know maybe the tarot has other plans for you <laughs> i never thought i was gonna enjoy this so much but i do so definitely try out tarot it's fun <laughs> so this card says it stands for celebration within a communal group or family Welcoming, welcoming the coming of new life or good fortune. The successful return after migration or travel by a tribe or grouping. So, I mean, we got that right next to this. So, that's really beautiful. This says, The ability to connect directly to joy allows the healing and empowering energies to flow through you and is a gift from the universe. Being able to be joyful and celebrate life fully in gratitude for the amazing gifts we share is a uniquely individual blessing, but is also recognized by those who feel its warmth radiating from us. To be able to embrace love, life's achievements, and the fulfillment that comes with selfless dedication to a shared cause or belief is to be the conduit from which the unseen breath of the divine flows. One of the most common reasons why people lose the ability to feel authentic joy in their lives is the fear associated with loss or grief at the passing of the emotion. Sometimes we need to give ourselves permission to be completely fulfilled and to experience joy again and be strong and stoical enough to understand that all of life's trials and tribulations, as well as the blessings and gifts, are cyclical by nature. Ah! Oh my gosh! I love that. It's so true. Um, something that stuck out to me was giving yourself permission to feel joy again. So that's what's happening here. Like in this next season in your life, give yourself permission to open up. Maybe you're feeling like, 
I don't know how I can fall in love again or I don't know how I can do this all over again. Maybe you've been hurt because the past, but um, you know, you're worthy and deserving of a new beginning and a new start here. And open yourself up to this experience because that's what life is all about. You know, you're here to enjoy. So I hope that that helps you. <laughs> now, the fourth one, the fourth and final one. Let's do this. Dang. Oh my gosh. This one seems kind of similar to um, the second one, actually. Um, with the theme about, like, worried about your lot in life. Um, I'm getting the feeling, though, that those of you guys who picked this one, there was something crazy that happened. Because, like, look at this card. These people are all sitting here and they're like run ragged and their brake broke and um, there's their crops over here are on fire. And so I feel like maybe you just came from something or a season in your life where, um, to put it lightly, you know, you're shedding the old to make way for the news. It's almost like everything that could go wrong went wrong. And so you're probably sitting here like, why me? You know, maybe you had to reach out to people for help. Um, Maybe it was something, um, maybe you had to reach out, like, for actual literal help, um, you know? Maybe you've been having trouble balancing your emotions and your spirits, and, um, I also see that, I mean, I pulled this card a lot when I was out of sorts and having a hard time, like, handling certain traumas and things that happened in my life, and so maybe you're just overwhelmed. Maybe life is just kind of caught up with you, but, um... This is a really beautiful card. It's the Endings and Beginnings card. And so thank goodness that this is over. And there's a new beginning here for you. I see this lotus flower and it's like, the symbol is out of the mud and out of the muck grows a beautiful lotus. So this is the beginning of a new chapter in your beautiful life. And um, I wanna read you this card actually. I'm just feeling the intuition to do so. So the message behind this card, this Kali card, it says, I sing praises to those whose hearts accept the universal order, which only appears to be chaotic and ever-changing. In actuality, everything is designed down to the smallest detail to be in perfect operation. The dance of the universe is a happy one, with energy swirling and twirling in a never-ending celebration of life itself. Join this dance, dear one, and enjoy the remarkable journey of the weavings of the story of your life. Do not fear what appears to be a change or loss. It's only the transitioning orbit of energy interplaying with you and your loved ones. Embrace it as evidence that you're alive. Embrace your deepest emotions as a signal of your true human essence. So all of this despair and everything that's come up inside of you since this, um, I love that take on it. It's just saying like express it. Like I'm an artist and um, you know, there's times where I don't really feel like creating and I'll get sucked into these funks, but I forget that those are the times that it's the most important to create, you know, when you're feeling kind of lost or hopeless or you get that despair, it's the most important time to pick up your paintbrush and make a painting. You can make some of the most beautiful art. I'm all about transmuting. That, that sounds kind of weird, that word, transmuting, right? But for me, it just means taking lemon, lemons and turning it into lemonade, you know, doing some alchemy, like, you know, all this horrible things that happen to you in life, you can take it and turn it into something beautiful. That's what I love about music. And that's what I love about, you know, people who write music. Um, some of the most beautiful songs are about some of the most awful, saddest things that have ever happened to people. You know, literally, there's some club, like, songs you can dance to at the club and and you don't realize the person who wrote it wrote it about like the worst thing ever that happened but it was a way for them to just be like you know what that's all right that's life let's just keep going here like this is going to be my jive like i'm going to turn this into my groove now and it's not going to hurt me and harm me anymore so you know feel these emotions these things that happen that was rough you know but do something with this energy let it flow through you create some art as you move forward to this new beginning and guess what? I've got some good news for you. They just, whatever happened to you guys who picked this, like this message, I have to tell you, I've never seen these cards in this combination before. And I'm doing these readings all the time. It's like, 
they just really want to lift you up. <laughs> I just feel like something awful happened. I'm sorry. Maybe it was a breakup. I'm feeling like broken hearts and love. And this card has to do with love. But maybe you lost your job. Maybe you're just you're having a depression or you're just confused. Um, maybe there was some death. And so these are some heavy topics here. But they're saying, you know... Expect a miracle here in this situation. You know, whatever this card was that was dealt to you, this ending here, expect a miracle. Um, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So they know that you're down on your knees and you're just like, please <laughs> help. Or that you're trying to put your head together and figure something out. You're trying to balance yourself after this. Um, you know, this is acknowledged and, um, there's a message coming through that you're going to have a bright future. So things are going to work out. And this, this message is so kind of, I don't know. I'm like, this is kind of mean. They're telling you stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. You know, but I, I see it more as like a caring, nurturing, loving, you know, parent figure, you know, the universe is just trying to tell you like, don't worry, it's going to be okay. I'm giving you a big hug here with these, with this reading, you know? And um, if you're worried on how to move forward, they're saying, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Just bam, right now. What is your heart's desire? What's coming to your mind? Don't even second guess it, you know? If the answer isn't coming now, then take some time to meditate on it, you know? Maybe go out in nature a little bit. Take some deep breaths, get centered. It's a lot easier to hear your internal guidance when you're at peace, you know, and you're feeling calm in a good environment. Money is coming into your life. Be open to receive, okay? The old makes way for the new. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred. So you've let go of a lot. Open to receive positive prosperity and abundance here because you're worthy and it's coming. So I hope that these messages helped you guys. Wow, what a season. Um, big changes, Big changes. I keep saying that. I'm just feeling big changes for everyone. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to keep doing pick a card readings and daily reads to help you guys stay focused and to lift your spirits. And if anyone wants a personal reading, then check out the description below. My personal readings are really low, fair price, and 100% um, of the proceeds are going to help support the ethical fashion industry. Peace out.